In this discussion, you can see how to create new module using command line interface. If you missed previous discussion about HTML tag failed, please check link is given in description. If you not subscribe yet, please subscribe to get latest discussion notification. Uh, first of all, uh, we already created a new custom module and the name is a school. You can see here, we already placed in add-ons path as a school. You can see here custom module name is a school now we are trying to create a new module and the name is a school underscore student now we are going to terminal and stop the execution this process and here we have to use python then after odo desk bin then after we have to use uh, the command name is a scaffold scl double f o l d and here we have to use our new module name here you we will use school underscore student after we have to press the enter key and auto will automatically create this school underscore student module in current directory so here you can see it's already created but it is wrongly placed because we have to use uh, we have to place the module inside add-ons if you will not give a specific path then uh, Odoo will create module in current directory we are going to uh, create this module in inside add-ons path so here we have to use add-ons that's it this is our path this is our existing path this will be like Odoo will create this module inside this path using this command and uh, for this command we have to use this execution to active the web ser uh, Odoo service to execute like it will create a new module inside this add-ons path now we are going to press the key you can see it's completed there is no any error it means it's created successfully now going to pycharm it is editor you can see here it's already created one more thing is you can see here outside of add-ons you can see also it's created here we are just deleting this one because we don't need now going to here in add-ons path then after we have to use school underscore student here you can see it's automatically created one controller folder and having some controlling files one more thing is it will create one demo data then after view part security and models so first of all we will check the manifest file and in manifest file you can see the by default everything like it's feed up as a default things uh, de depends is base then after version is 0.1 then after category is uncategorized and everything is default right now you can see here those xml files one is a template and one is a view file and the security file like access rights it's uh, in uh, comment comment section now what you have to do is you have to just uh, rename everything whatever data you want to add here you can just add it add it here and then after directly go to in models part and here you can see it's already created one class and uh, some default fields and if you want to use directly then you can just uncomment and you can use directly from here otherwise you can uh, delete those parts if you don't want to use those one and just rename and replace your uh, new module name and replace the replace this columns and specific file uh, methods it's already included this model python file 
and uh, here you can see in controlling part it's already created one controller class and having a three different controllers URL so by default it's creating like this one in demo like if you will unfold so you will having some predefined data if you already have a preloaded demo data then it will be load but here it's in comment section so you have to do is uncomment this one and directly you can use then after upgrade the module it will create some these records the main thing is you can see here also access rights it's also given as a default user 111 so they can do anything they can like create delete update and read, read access rights then after if you go to here in views part and unfold so here you can see here this is a tree view then after this is a windows action then after it's already created one uh, server action then after menus if you want to use then you can just uncomment this one uh, uncomment those one and directly you can use so we are trying to use like uh, in model we just uncomment then after here we can just remove this one then after save the file in manifest file you can just uncomment this security file that's it and we have to use python odoo dash bin that's it and it will active the service now we are going to browser then after going to apps and here we have to use this update the Odoo App Store so it will refresh the it will refresh internally and here you can search that module this module we already created previous discussion and uh, this one we created using scaffold command here you can see everything is default data and uh, when you click here so it's trying to install and it's successfully installed and one more thing is if you go to here you can see here this is a menu name and here you can see this is a name value and value 2 you can see here so the main thing is if you want to use if you don't want to copy past uh, existing module and recreate your module it's better you can use this command it will give you uh, some sort description like it will create automatically manifest file and some default data then after it will create only one models field uh, sorry models python file and you can also rename it and then after you have to remember those uh, that name and you can just import here and controlling part if you don't want then you can just uh, delete it we don't need it then after like view part you can also change based on your requirement so it is very easy now one more thing is like scaffold also copy same module into current directory so we are using the same scenario like how we will copy existing module so now uh, we are copying this cool model so here we have models security and views you can see here so while we are using that scaffold command and we are just trying to copy this cool model and we just rename it just terminate the process of Odoo and here we are using Odoo desk bin then after 
scaffold here we have to use a new module name like school duplicate then after minus t minus t stands for template and it will use to copy that existing module we are just giving a name of that module because it's inside the add-ons path and this is a directory name and just we are press the enter key you can see there is no error it means it's successfully created new duplicate school module and if we are going here and we can see here this is duplicated that school module the manifest file you can see here then after school view you can see this is a form view then after security and school module so using minus t like you can just copy the existing file uh, sorry existing module so that's it for now in case you have any doubt please comment below and see you in next video